Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel and uh, as promised uh, an unboxing video of Triumph Motorangle uh, from Byron Simmons uh, published by Histo Games. Um, my understanding is this is the last game from the Byron Simmons stable uh, and having played Guns of Gettysburg and Napoleon's Triumph um, this I believe is meant to be a, a an abbreviated shortened version um, of those type of games so something that can be played in a few hours in an evening but still encompassing a lot of those very unique mechanics uh, associated with Burn Simmons games so um, you get a nice size box this is still in the wrap at the moment um, you can see there it's uh, German and, and English translation. Um, so this is all about Marengo, 14th of June, 1800. Um, you will be playing the French or the Austrians. And it is a fast playing game departing from all war game conventions. Um, so based on Bonaparte and Marengo, but improving it in many aspects. It's meant to offer a unique game experience with a redesigned map with wide open spaces for manoeuvre, modified combat system and a locale based morale system. Um, so very interesting um, positioning of the game. Uh, you get a mounted board, 80 of those wonderful imprinted uh, blocks. Uh, some wooden discs and a rules booklet so not too heavy on the component front let's get into the game and, and have a look I'm really looking forward to uh, to getting this one out and having a look at it as I say it's uh, for me these games are near enough cult status games uh, for a lot of people uh, they are so unique um, such unique mechanics that uh, when I was aware that this game had been published, it was always one I was keeping a, an eye on from a distance and um, found this one available through the Thirsty Meeple in the UK. Uh, excellent service, arrived in a couple of days. And uh, as you say, artwork, beautiful. Let's uh, get into that. It's a nice, good quality box. Nice to see. Um, so the first thing is we've got really nice booklet in there. Um, so this one is the German version and then on the other side you've got the English version. So I like that. This is the rules. Um, let's uh, see what we're looking at here. So we're looking at... Twelve pages, um, but we've got designer notes. Um, I'm working backwards here. Gameplay example. So we're probably looking about ten pages of rules. But as you can see there, um, quite dry in terms of the layout. Um, there is a bit of colour in there, but they're going to take a bit of reading. Our, our other, ga other games are very similar. Um, however lots of examples which i think is a big step forward from the original games there wasn't enough of those for me um, so i'm hoping that will help a lot in understanding how the game works um, overall pretty happy with that i think uh, being able to pick that up pretty quickly we'll have a look at the board in a moment uh, but it's it's a nice fold up big board and looks gorgeous um, and then we've got the uh, the usual blocks, um, which I'm not going to get them all out, but uh, I'll get some of the uh, the red, the Austrian faction out, um, so you can sort of see what you get here. So you've got these little discs. Um, and then you've got these really nice blocks, similar to what you got in the original games. And uh, the imprinted designs showing you the strength of the units. Um, so you've got cavalry there, you've got infantry, 
various strengths and weaknesses. Um, really nice. They're lovely blocks, um, and there's a lot of them. So, um, so I think I said about 80 uh, representing the different sides. Um, so this is a grand battle um, using these, which is great. But that's literally uh, simple as that, as far as what you get in the box. So that, for me, is a win straight away. We're not talking huge components here. Um, but let's get the uh, the map set up so you can have a look at it. Um, as I say, I've got a feeling this is going to be another beauty um, in terms of size um, and production values. And it is a beauty, I can assure you that. It is huge. Um, and again, it's going to be another one of these where it will flatten down nicely. And uh, I'm going to pull it right out so you can see it. This is a big map. Um, and I'm going to zoom in a little bit so you can kind of get a flavour of what we're looking at close up here in the kind of detail. So let's just zoom it in a little bit there. Hopefully you can get a real feel for the level of detail. This reminds me so much of Kriegspiel, which I love and I've always loved. I played many games of it over the years. Um, and this has always attracted me to the style of this game in the series it was the, the Kriegspiel-esque effect um, that you get with these games um, so there's some interesting information at the top um, which to be honest is in uh, a different language so uh, hopefully uh, it, it I think it's fairly straightforward you know we're showing um, terrain what things mean um, this could well be a turn track of some shape or form. We shall have a look when we get into the game. Um, but it looks really, really nice. Um, as I expected it to. And uh, it will be an investment of time. Um, one I'm looking forward to really getting on the table and seeing whether you can do this kind of game in a, in a shorter time scale, but I love games that are all about manoeuvre and this one looks like it's going to be very much about that. So hope you've enjoyed this unboxing of Triumph Marango from Histo Games, the Bowen Simmons series. Look forward to bringing you more in due course. Hope you've enjoyed the video and see you all again soon.